Hello everyone, for this tutorial video I like to explain the most basic cases of the substitution rule for indefinite integrals, which is also known as u substitution as a reference to the variable you use in place of the function you substitute. Since we remember from the previous tutorial video that integrals are essentially derivatives in reverse, we should also be able to memorize what the chain rule is for composite function derivatives. So we should see that when we take the integral of this derivative, we should get the composite function back, just like taking the integral of any derivative will undo it. We see because of how the chain rule works for derivatives, the integrals must follow a very specific format in order to actually be integratable. Namely, you have to have the derivative of function one of function two times the derivative of function two. And if it does not follow this very specific format, you will not be able to integrate the function. With that out of the way, if we are given an integral like this, we would correctly identify the inner function as 6x cubed plus 5. So now if we take the derivative of this function u with respect to x, we should come up with 18x squared. But now we multiply this derivative by the change in x. So that way, we can take the integral with respect to u rather than x as we will do just now. We see that change in u is given right off the bat in the original integral. So now we make the appropriate placement of u for the 6x cubed plus 5. And it becomes a simple integral of u raised to the 1 quarter power integrated with respect to u rather than x. So once we compute the integral using the power rule, we simply plug back in 6x cubed plus 5 for u and then add the constant of integration like for any indefinite integral. If we do another integral to get more practice, we would identify w minus ln of w as the inner function u, take the derivative of it with respect to w, but then multiply by change in w in order to get change of u by itself in a more convenient manner. So now it is a simple integral we know how to do, cosine of u integrated with respect to u and we plug back in w minus ln of w for u. Many basic integrals will not have the derivative given explicitly, but will require some algebraic rearranging first. For example, we would identify the u here as 3 minus 10x cubed. And so by the usual process, change in u must logically be negative 30 times x squared times change in x. However, in the original integral, there is no negative 30 given for you. But what you can do is use some trickery to state x squared times change in x equals negative 130 times change in u. So we plug this in where appropriate in the integral, as well as u that we found earlier. And then once we compute the integral of u using the power rule, we plug back in what we found for you. Now that I've explained how to do the most basic types of substitution rule problems, I can explain how to do more sophisticated substitution rule problems in the next video that will more often than not involve more than one integral done at a time. Don't forget to subscribe if you found this video informative, and make sure to see the other tutorial videos, and follow me on either Facebook or Twitter for more content.